So the other day on the coaches show that you could turn out to be one of the all-time greats here and one of the winningest players. What are you looking to do, leave as a mark for yourself here? I think exactly what coach just said there. I think having won a national championship as my freshman year, I think it could only go up from the accolade standpoint and all of that. So really just trying to continue to add to the UConn history, the rich history here, and really cement myself as, you know, one of the, you know, having a lot of accomplishments as a team, and then individually as well, just continuing to level up my game to where, you know, I could make that freshman sophomore year jump. But more importantly, I just focused here my day. How much different does it feel going into this season compared to last? Sorry, what you How much different does it feel going into this season compared to last? I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's very different. Yeah. I think the target, of course, is way bigger on us this year. I think we just have a completely new team this year. I think we're a lot more young compared to last year's team. And, you know, just with the five freshmen, just really trying to help them get going. And then Cam as well, just trying to introduce them to the Coach Hurley system, which she's done a great job of. So just really getting ready for that target and all the attention that's going to be on us. You, know, you were in those shoes just a year ago, so what are the things that you're telling those new players in order to get them ready for what they need to be prepared for, especially with the banner up on the wall? Yeah, I'd say just listen to the coaching staff and what the role that they want you to play in. Just always, you know, just try to find ways to get get out there on the court and really just leave an impact. And also just stay, stay with the ups and downs. I mean, my year last year, I had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. So just trying to stay even kills, try to stay consistent. And really just, you know, all the good days are going to happen eventually. So just keep continue to try to say that to them and always get their confidence going up. Now that you're a day out, what have you learned from the team standpoint over the last few months as you kind of now hit the ground running? We're more than ready. I think just after all these practices and stuff, we just can't wait to get out there. I think we're tired of playing each other in practice. So just really just super energized to get out there. And, um, you know, I learned that we are a competitive group. We're eager just to continue to learn and get better every day. And we're just ready to show it on the court. You guys are obviously focused on this season, but how nice will it be to put up the final bow on last year with the national championship banner being unveiled to everyone? It'll be cool, but honestly, I think we're just so focused on NAU right now that we'll probably, like, you know, take a glance at it for, like, 30 seconds before the game starts, and then right after after the game, we'll probably, you know, look at it a little more. But I think right now we're just so locked in onto this new year. Well, you've got the great freshman class coming back, but how important is it for your game to have Mr. Triple-Double Tristan Newton back this year? It's so important. I mean, when Tristan came back, that just elevated our team to a whole nother level. I mean, just the game that he had against San Diego State and just, you know, those triple-doubles, all that stuff, he's really a special player, and he loves finding dudes the ball. He loves creating his own shot, and just for him to do that it just creates him such a dangerous player. <laughs> as enjoyable as it was, Will it come as a little bit of a relief that you flip the banner up and then you can move on? You know, been talking about it, talking about you know last year. But will it be a relief that you can just go into this season now? Yeah, I think so. I think we we're looking forward just to move on and just you know move on to a new season and move on to you know just a fresh start. And I think the past we're always going to look at it, always treasure it, and all that stuff. But um, I think just really just the excitement on to moving on to next year, just trying to replicate what we did last year for this year's team. Donovan said he put his ring away the next day. What have you done with your ring since you got him? Uh, my parents came for first night, so when they left for first night, I gave it to them, and they got it in the house now. So um, I don't even know where they put it in the house now. <laughs> Coach hasn't been shy about talking a lot about wanting this team to do something special and be one of those rare teams to win back to back or run back to the Final Four. How, how do you view this team and the talent and the ceiling it has? I really think the ceiling is another national championship. I think we definitely have the talent, we definitely have the offensive firepower, it's just we just gotta be locked in on the defensive end. And if we, you know, listen to the coaching staff, take in the defensive side, just using Coach Hurley's toughness and intensity and just really put it out there on the floor, I really think nothing could really stop us. Do you think Coach has evolved offensively? He's talked about wanting to push that a little bit more, always being a defensive coach. And now when you guys talk about this team, it's like we're great offensively. We just got to make sure we do something defensively. Yeah, definitely. I think he's definitely evolved. I mean, you could look at the past few contents that he had, and I think, you know, you just see over time how much – dangerous his office his UConn offices have been compared you know this year for example compared to like five years ago so I definitely think he's growing as a coach and he's definitely open-minded and changing which is awesome about him what can you get out of these first few games how where's the value in these is it meshing seeing how you guys fit in a, in a 
competitive environment. What yeah. Do you think this team needs to get out of these? I think really it's so different when you put on the Yukon jersey in front of all the fans. So I think it's going to be super important, especially for the new guys, just to see how Gamble is. And it's definitely a whole different experience compared to high school or, you know, for Cam especially too. So um, I think really just getting the butterflies out and really just getting out there playing the open court. And then team chemistry, I mean, just, you know, these games officially matter now. So just being locked in and just super competitive on that end. Alex, what have you learned the most about yourself from the summer and up until this point? How about yourself or your game? What have you learned most about yourself? I think there's a confidence side of it. I think last year I was just hesitant at times and, you know, just hesitant to talk here and there. But I think I've become more confident just being more open to talking to my teammates off the court, just more t more open to talk to them on the court and really just having the confidence in my voice and just confidence in, you know, my abilities. So just knowing what I see out there and just really delivering that message to my teammates. How's Donovan Donovan looked early and what are your expectations for him this season? He looked he looks great right now. He looks unbelievable and um I'm super proud of the work that he's put in. Just, I love him and I love him as a roommate, everything. He's a great kid. And um, expectations, I think, you know, he's another player that, like, he he's going to relish those expectations. He knows that people are talking about him all the time, and I think he's going to live up to those. He knows that there's going to be a huge target on his back with all the, you know, the media talking about him and stuff. So he's super excited for it, and um, I know he'll do great things. You and... <laughs> <laughs> You, you and AZ Fudd were uh, partners on first night and were just letting it rip from the perimeter. She, she kind of made a joke that she didn't necessarily like think your form looked as good as hers, but she said that as long as it, you know, the ball goes in the net, that's all that matters. Well, kind of. I know. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> um, no, AZ's jump shot is it's definitely one of the nicest jump shots I've seen. And I, I tell her, like, I think she's the best shooter on both the men's and women's side. So. You know, I'm glad to be a three-point partner, and you know, we could go back to back to back next year at first night. So I'm super excited for that. <laughs> Is Cam trying to rematch you yet? Cam, he hasn't asked for a rematch yet, but he keeps reminding me every day about it. So, um, if whenever he wants a rematch, I know I'll be down for it. Just you know, right now we're just gonna see how the games go. Then you know, maybe on an off day we will. <laughs> when Donovan, when Donovan was out, was it? Was it easy to build, or not was it easy, but were you able to build chemistry with Samson, you know, getting him out there in, in the mix with the starters? And oh, yeah, definitely. That was a super important time for Samson just to get his confidence going, just, you know, just to get him out there on the court more. And um, he's done an unbelievable job of that. And I love playing with Samson and just seeing his talent and just reading and reacting off him and then just helping each other out on the defensive end. We really got that time together, and I think it definitely helped us tremendously. Has Cam's competitiveness added something to this team? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You see it in practices. You see, you when you see him dive on the floor, take a charge, or you know make those hustle plays. It just makes you want to do those plays as well. So definitely, his competitive edge, and you just see how much he cares on the court. Whether when he misses a shot or makes a mistake, you just see how much he cares, and that just makes you want to play harder, and just makes you want to you know do more for the team. He said he wants to show people he's more than just a shooter because that's kind of the narrative for him because he has a good shot. But you see a, a well-rounded game. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's way more than a shooter. He could pass the ball. He could put it on the deck, finish it well. And uh, really, he's just he's so unselfish. So he's definitely way more than a shooter. You know, of course, getting the win Monday is a top priority, and it's easy to get hung up on individual statistics like points or rebounds, but what are you looking to do beyond the box score for your team Monday? Beyond the box score, I think it's just the leadership side of it. I think coach, the coaching staff continues to push me every day to become a better leader. So if I can do that, that'll be number one. I mean, well, you know, winning's number one, but then, you know, right after that, just being a better leader, just making sure that for all my teammates out there, it's easier on the court if I'm out there with mm -hmm. them. And uh, pick your brain a little bit. What what is what does being a better leader mean for you? Yeah, just being you know confident in myself. You know, just having more vocal out there. Just being more vocal. But then you know, just showing out there with my play. You know, just how hard I go, how hard I attack drills, or you know, just drills, just competition wise, etc. And just really setting the example on, you know, what Coach Hurley wants, and just setting the example of how hard you have to play.